Nimrod is fully immune to both bleed and poison effects. As well, armor breaks cannot remove his armor ups, and will suffer negative 100% potency. And when fighting against mutant champions, Nimrod gains immunity to ability accuracy modification. All of his attacks deal energy damage instead of physical damage. Nimrod will start each fight in Titan Protocol and will swap to his next protocol called Blitz every 11 seconds or when landing a fourth light attack in a basic combo. Bear in mind that this fourth light attack does not reset the 11 seconds but merely switches over while the timer continues to count down. At the start of the timer, and when the protocol timer expires, gain one armor up buff for 20 seconds. Nimrod will also gain one protocol charge per unique ability applied by each protocol during a special attack. Gain one protocol charge when gaining armor up and when the opponent activates prowess or regeneration. At 10 protocol charges, launch a special attack to activate eradicate protocol for 16 seconds, combining the effects of Titan and Blitz protocols. While in Titan Protocol, Nimrod will have 20% damage reduction from all incoming critical hits and plus 25% potency per armor up. When the opponent launches a special attack, inflict a cowardice debuff, reducing special attack damage by 40% for 15 seconds. And in Titan Protocol, well-timed blocks create one armor up. In Blitz Protocol, attacks have a greatly increased attack rating and gain plus 25% potency per armor up. When the opponent launches a special attack while in Blitz Protocol, inflict Power Drain, draining 150% of a bar of power over 15 seconds. Attacks remove one prowess and regeneration, replacing it with a shock debuff over 1.5 seconds. Using the special attack 1 while in Titan Protocol, Nimrod will gain an Energize buff, increasing combat power rate by 45% for 25 seconds. While in Blitz mode, on hit inflict energy vulnerability, reducing opponent's energy resistance for 25 seconds. If you are in Eradicate mode when throwing special 1, you will gain both of these abilities. Using the special attack 2 while in Titan Protocol, Nimrod will gain an Unstoppable buff for 5 seconds. The duration is paused until the special attack ends, and while in blitz mode, each hit inflicts a passive shock, dealing energy damage over 2 seconds. Again, if throwing the special attack while in eradicate mode, you will gain access to both abilities. While in titan mode during the special 3, Nimrod will gain self-repair, regenerating 12.5% of missing health over 15 seconds. This effect ends early if Nimrod is stunned, and while in blitz mode, he will deal a burst of energy damage based on the opponent's missing health. Again, throwing this special attack while in eradicate mode will gain access to both abilities. An awakened Nimrod excels at fighting against mutant champions. Nimrod's abilities will generate an additional armor up whenever gaining a personal armor up during the fight. His Awakened ability also increases the effectiveness of Eradicate Protocol, which now will grant unblockable special attacks and increases the potency and duration of special attack effects by 10 to 35%. Nimrod is a fairly straightforward character to play. You will spend most of your time, at least I have, in Titan Protocol. Titan Protocol is where you will gain your armor up buffs and protocol charges when performing well-timed blocks. So, remember that your protocols will shift every 11 seconds, but you can change them back to the other protocol by using a fourth light attack in a combo. So what I have found the easiest to do, you start in Titan Protocol, use your well-timed block, and then a combo of one or two. Then allow the opponent to attack again and use your well-timed block. 
Again, this will give you an armor up buff and increase your protocol charges. Your goal is to get to 10. By doing it this way, you will be able to utilize as much of your Titan protocol time as possible. When you switch to Blitz protocol, if you are still trying to build charges, again, what you will do is use a combo and end with a fourth light attack. This will switch you back over to Titan protocol and allow you to build those charges faster. Once you have your 10 protocol charges, you will then want to make your way to your special two if you are not already there. It will not matter if you are in Titan or Blitz protocol at this point, as they will both, with 10 charges, combine their effects and enter Eradicate protocol. You will throw your special two and do his maximum amount of damage. Now let's talk about the SP1. The SP1 is very underpowered. You will not get a lot of damage off of this. The only benefit to using the SP1 is that the opponent will receive an energy vulnerability debuff. This will allow his SP2 to do even more damage. However, to be quite honest, I didn't find it to be that much more damage. And so typically when I play Nimrod, I simply go for my SP2 with my 10 protocol charges and just rinse and repeat. The SP3, along the same lines, I wasn't receiving a whole lot of damage or regeneration from the SP3. So again, I typically just use the SP2. So again, my rotation for this is you're going to start in Titan Protocol and you're going to stay in Titan Protocol as much as possible, either letting the timer run out or using your uh, fourth light attack in order to gain your Titan Protocol back. You will use your well-timed blocks and then one or two hit combos and allow the opponent to attack again, utilizing as much of your Titan Protocol timer as possible. Gain your 10 Protocol charges and then fire off your SP2 for maximum damage. Now, Nimrod is also tailor-made to fight against mutants, and he does much better in matches against mutants. For instance, if they have a regeneration or a prowess buff, you can then use your blitz protocol mode to turn these instantly with a hit into a shock debuff. So you'll get rid of that regeneration or that prowess. Very useful against Magneto or Wolverine, anybody that can regenerate and or gain a lot of prowess. In addition... When he is using his well time blocked, if he is awakened against mutants, he will gain two armor ups instead of just one, allowing you to build up those protocol charges a whole lot faster. Finally, he is almost a cater made counter to Archangel, as he is immune to bleed and poison, and against mutants, he is immune to ability accuracy modification. So overall, Nimrod does play a lot better against mutants. Against other champions in the game, he is okay. He is very kind of middle of the road. But against mutants, he is absolutely someone you would want to take into a fight.